Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, I had a request uh, by one of our viewers to um, show how I configure OBS Studio for videos or for screencasting. And um, so I'm going to go through that. Uh, I'll go through the basic setup on OBS Studio. Now, for my needs, I, I don't require a lot of open windows and various things that some other YouTubers may uh, need. Screencasting, um, basically I'm using just the simple version of screencasting, but um, I like OBS Studio. Um, and so for this video, I'm using Cheese and Simple Screen Recorder because I wanted to be able to open up OBS Studio without it being running. Now, uh, I'm using Cheese because for some reason GUVC View um, isn't uh, working properly on my new Arch Linux from scratch install. So I got to do a little bit of research on that, but it looks to be a GUVC View issue. But I'm going to uh, see if I can get that resolved. But as I said, normally I use OBS Studio and I'm going to walk through the steps to set up a basic configuration. So let's take a look at OBS. Okay, so you need to agree to the license agreement. And then it's going to open up a window uh, that you see here. Now, basically OBS uses what's called scenes. Um, and so it comes basically with the default scene with no, so, no sources set up. I'm going to go through that with you. The, when you create a scene, um, think of it as, for example, if I want to do YouTube, I'm going to rename this scene. I'm going to call this basic YouTube configuration. So you give your scene a name. You can have multiple scenes for various windows and um, open applications, things like that. I'm just going to go through the basics right now. So each scene is made up of sources. You might have a scene that only has one window and you would create that you would add that source now let me show you how to set up a basic YouTube configuration so as I said scenes are made up of sources and so we're gonna do the first source as the screen capture so I need to capture my screen as the first component of that YouTube scene so for screen capture I'm going to click OK. Now usually you'll have a default um, that you can select from. So if you, if you just leave it on Create New, because you haven't created any scenes yet. So you're going to Create New. And as you can see, it's populating now with my screen. And I'm going to leave it on the 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to tell it to capture the cursor. Now I don't use any of the advanced settings. You can explore that as you set up your own uh, scene. But I'm going to just click OK. And so now I've got my screen capture as part of the YouTube scene. As you can see it's the entire screen. The next thing I want to do is capture the camera. So if I want to put uh, myself in a small window, I need to tell it how to do that. And so I'm going to add another source for that. And we're going to call that, we're going to designate that as the video capture device. Now, as I said, you're going to be creating new because you don't ha you haven't had you haven't added anything. You don't have any existing screen capture, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, video capture devices. So we're gonna just click on OK. Now, it's listing my HD Pro webcam. 
Uh, it's not showing it because I'm using it for cheese. But I'm going to leave that alone. The only thing is I'm going to leave everything the same except on resolution. I'm going to do 320 by 240. And for frame rate, I'm going to select 30. Then I'm going to click OK. OK, now, uh, and as I said, if I wasn't using cheese, the, the camera source would show up right here. OK, and then you can move it wherever you want on the screen. Now, the next thing we need is audio. We need to capture audio. So we need to capture what you're saying uh, when you do your YouTube screen capture. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick that from the audio input capture. Then we're gonna, because it is a new audio capture, click OK. Now you need to select your microphone. In my case, it's gonna be the Yeti stereo microphone. So then, once you select your audio input device, you're going to click OK. Now, as you can see, my audio input is capturing my speaking. And that is all there is to it. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause the video, and then I'm going to reboot into... Uh, OBS Studio so I can show you what it looks like when you're actually using it rather than being in cheese so I will be right back with you guys uh, be right back bear with me here okay guys I'm back now uh, I'm in OBS Studio and as you can see I've got my YouTube scene set up with my screen video and audio capture uh, I went into my settings and set up my control R start recording hotkey and my control S stop recording hotkey and you can see the camera here is in the top left and that can be moved around the screen and so, of course, when you're doing your screencasting, you'll have this minimized. So that is it for the basic OBS walkthrough, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, in the meantime, if you need a more detailed uh, explanation of... OBS Studio. Um, let me show you my friend Jeff Turner. Um, his YouTube channel, he did a great OBS video in depth and he touched on a lot of the things that I did not. So let me bring up that for you. And as you can see, it's right here, Open Broadcast Studio Basics. And uh, if you go to Jeff Turner or do a, a YouTube search, Open Broadcast Studio Basics, Jeff goes through a lot of the um, intricacies, the, uh, a lot of the details on more complicated types of scenes. So um, you might want to take a look at Jeff's video. So that is it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.